Now, the Supreme Court has set October 26 to deliver its ruling in a case asking that it allows a Supreme Court judge accused of bias to continue hearing the case involving former Cocoa CEO Stephen Opun Justice. Clemens Honyanuga was in July this year barred from hearing that case when the court said the allegation of bias against him had merit. The AG wants to set aside. There's more in the following report. Joined by his two deputies, Diana Dapai and Alfred Tuyaboa, the Attorney General Godfrey Yeboah Dami moved his motion. He explained to the court that the judge did not demonstrate any bias as had been alleged by lawyers for Dr. Opuni to merit being restrained from hearing the matter. He says the judge simply applied time-tested decisions of the Supreme Court. And if the Supreme Court was minded to set that aside or depart from its earlier decisions, the judge should not be the one bearing the brunt of that particular move. And so the matter that was before the Supreme Court was of the nature that there should be an error that was obvious. And so he said that no such error had been committed by the judge to warrant the intervention of the Supreme Court. Uh, the lawyers for Dr. Puni disagreed with this submission. They made a the point that as far as they are concerned, Justice Clemens Onyeniga had made up his mind through comments he made while ruling on a submission of no case that he was going to sentence Dr. Opuni and was simply going through the ritual of trial. At the AG at that point in time had some concerns about that comment, but uh, Mr. Kujo, who represents Dr. Opuni, made a point that those are matters that are already contained in the documents which they filed in court. After hearing both sides, the Supreme Court opted to adjourn the matter to October 26 to deliver its ruling on it. And so the review decision is important in that the initial decision was a 3-2 majority decision. The case was originally heard by Justices Jones Doche, A.M. Doji, Amadou Tanko, Lovelace Johnson and Gabriel Puaman. Justice Gabriel Puaman, who wrote the lead judgment, concluded that the test is an objective test based on the principle that justice must be done as he said that a case of bias had been made. He was backed by his colleagues, Justices A.M. Doji and Tanko Amadou. Justices Jones Doche and Lovelace Johnson disagreed. The review application is being heard by Justices Getru Tokonu and Professor Ashikote who have joined the original panel. Reporting for joining us on the Supreme Court, my name is Joseph Akable.